my name's Sydney Gregson from Saracens Women and you're watching The Women's Rugby Show. Hello, hello and welcome back to The Women's Rugby Show. I'm Sam, by the way, and today I'm here with episode two of our Lions special. In part one, I told you how a British and Irish lioness is taught at either New Zealand or the USA and Canada could look like. And in this part, I'm going to look at this lioness's squad. I've narrowed down what my squad is going to look like, and that's what I'm going to show you today. And also, I want to hear your opinions on who would be in your squad as well. Before we get into the video, though, make sure you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, and also check us out across all social medias as well. If you don't know that, let's get into the video. So before we get into looking at my squad, we actually need to look at squad size first, and we're basing our squad size on the 2017 men's tour to New Zealand, where they took 41 players over there. And this is to account for injuries and also the need for such a large squad on a unique first tour. So this equates to three hookers, six props, three on each side, tight and loose head, five second rows and eight back rows. So six flankers and two number eights, essentially. And then three nines, three tens, five centres and seven back three players. But we've actually added an eighth back three player just because it was so hard to choose and also it's such a position that needs a lot of cover. So we now have a squad of 42, which would be perfect for coverage for injuries and also illnesses potentially on such a long tour as well. So we've got our squad size. Now let's have a look to see who was named in my British and Irish Lionesses squad for a potential first tour. As you can see on the screen, there is our, well, my British and Irish Lionesses squad of 42. We split into hookers, props, second rows, back rows, scrum halves, fly halves, centres and back three positions. I'm now going to go through each position and talk about who we've selected and also who was in outside contention as well. So for the hookers, we've gone for two of the English hookers in Amy Kikane and Lark Davis and also then Cleona Maloney from Ireland. I think these are three of the probably the best hookers in the world right now. Amy Kikane and Lark Davis are brilliant for England. They work the ball so well from line out set pieces and they're so dominant in the catch and drives as you've seen in the Premier 15s they're just really impressive and Cleona Maloney is also outstanding as well she's been really impressive in the Irish pack line for a number of years now and she's thoroughly deserving of a spot in a British and Irish Lionesses squad some outside contenders in the hooker places were Lana Skeldon from Scotland also Molly Kelly from Wales as well moved on to the props and we'll start with the loose head props they're not in Loose head and tighter order on here, they're in obviously alphabetical order. But loose head wise, we've got Maud Muir from England, an uncapped player, but I'll talk about why she is in this squad now. Vicky Cornborough from England, also Lindsay Pete from Ireland. The reason we've selected Maud Muir is one, she's an outstanding talent, which we've seen from Wasps. She can cover a number of positions, but also we felt like she would be a brilliant tourist as well. I think that is one of the most important things to have characters on these tours as well as the quality rugby players and I think Maud would bring that and we also we all know the quality of Vicky Cornbrett and Lindsay Pete as well there are a couple of outside suggestions for this Carol Thomas from Wales but also one that got suggested on Instagram to us was Simi Pam from Bristol Bears I think another year experience she would certainly be on this tour but yeah Simi was a massive outside contender and was named a number of times actually to be potentially selected on this tour moving on to tight heads i think the tight head is one of the simplest on the selections for me you've got shauna brown Bryony cleal and linda young from ireland i think selecting the two english girls and the irish girl uh linda was quite obvious for us i think the only one pushing this pushing to break in such so as keris hale from wales i think she's brilliant as well but um shauna Bryony and linda are all brilliant talents they've um impressed with their country and also Shauna and Bryony have done it week in week out in the Premier 15s obviously Shauna a uh, Premier 15s winner last season Bryony winning it previously with Saracens and I think having those three together would provide stern opposition for any potential tourists and also they would work extremely well together to push each other to the next level then moving on to the second rows we've got three English players a Scott, our first Scott of the tour, and also Ava McDermott from Ireland as well. So you've got Zoe Allcroft and Abby Ward and Sarah Hunter. Sarah Hunter obviously can cover the back row as well, so that's the reason she's in here. Is she's got a lot of coverage, and Abby Ward and Zoe Allcroft, we just they're brilliant, aren't they? For England, they are ex extremely impressive in the line out, in the set piece, and also Zoe is just everywhere with ball in hand as well. And then Ava McDermott really impressed me in the Six Nations when we went to watch Ireland play Wales over in Cardiff. Ava McDermott was really impressive for me on that day, so that's a reason for that. 
And then moving on to the back row, we've selected obviously eight, six number eight, so six flankers and a number eight. And also a couple who can cover a lot of positions. Going through them, we'll go through them in alphabetical order. We've got Poppy Cleal from England, George Evans from Wales, which one that is was what we got suggested to us on Instagram, but I think it was a brilliant choice. So she's in here. Vicky Fleetwood from England, Swan Lillycrap from Wales, Rachel Malcolm from Scotland, Claire Malloy from Ireland, Marley Packer from England, and Dorothy Wall from Ireland. I think this is a massive mix of talent in this. I think they're all really impressive players. They're all such key players for their countries as well. Obviously, Poppy, Vicky and Marley, we know their talents they bring to that England side. Marley and Vicky will both be competing for kind of that seven shirt for England. And I think that's what they'd be doing here for a British and Irish Lionesses as well. And Poppy, Six Nations player of the tournament, probably the best player in the world, as Simon Middleton keeps trying to tell us. And I think he's not far wrong, to be honest. She scores tries, she makes tackles, she carries hard. And she's just an all-round world-class player. And then looking at the non-English players, the two Welsh girls, George Evans and Suan, I think having their kind of power is really key to a lioness, especially going to New Zealand. They're going to be really powerful and dominant up front and are bringing in George and Suan, both two hugely talented players, but also powerful players as well. They'll have a bit, add a bit of impetus to the Lions selection. And I think especially George was one that was selected to um, pointed out to us on Instagram when we put these stories up, but also one that was in my kind of initial selection as well. And so Anna Lillycrap has been outstanding for Bristol as well when she's been playing for them. She's kind of dragged them to victories at times this season and also pushed them forward as well. And then Rachel Malcolm, our second Scott, is just another brilliant player. She has to be concluded, someone that you can't really leave out. And also Claire Malloy, a legend in the Irish rugby circles. And Dorothy Wall was really another one like Ava McDermott. It really impressed me in the Six Nations as well. We did have other, a few other names in the firing line for the back row, just to name a few. Anna Cakeless from Ireland, Alicia Butchers from Wales, and also Kiara Griffin from Ireland, Alex Matthews from England, and Alex Callender from Wales. The two Worcester ones are really hard for me to leave out because I love going to watch Worcester, kind of specifically for that back row talent. I know I haven't named any of them in this, but I think another year of development, then Alex Callender certainly would be in there, like Simi Pan we mentioned earlier. She would definitely be there after another year of development. And Alex Matthews, I think it's a bit harsh to put her in after... A bit harsh not to put her in, sorry, after how much she's done for Worcester and for England and England Sevens and Team GB Sevens over the past few years. But she just misses out as well. Moving on to the backs now, we've got three scrum halves. And this is the first one where it's kind of a bit of a, a, an equal balance. You've got Kira Bevan from Wales, Catherine Dane from Ireland and Leanne Riley from England. There's a few that could have snuck in here. Mo Hunt, obviously, and Claudia McDonald, both from England, could have easily snuck in instead of probably Leanne. But I think Leanne is one of the best scrum halves in world rugby. And also Kira Bevan and Catherine Dane offer something a little bit different to the way England play. Leanne's obviously an outstanding talent, really good quick ball. But I think Kira Bevan and Catherine Dane have the opportunity to be snipey, to bring a lot more pace into the side, which could be quite important. And it's also important to have a bit of a difference in playing styles as well. And moving on to the fly halves, this is where it gets a bit tricky in terms of having some centres can play at 10, some 10s can play in the centre. So this is where, this is some of the reason for the selection. We've gone for Stacey Flood from Ireland, Zoe Harrison from England and Helen Nelson from Scotland. And also another balance, a lot of balance and act in this one as well. Another one, Stacey Flood made a debut for Ireland in the Six Nations, but she was extremely impressive and that's why she's in our Lionesses squad. Zoe Harrison, we all know her talents from watching the Premier 15s. She does it week in, week out. She can kick well. She kicks well for Saracens. And when Emily Scarrett's not playing, she kicks well for England as well. And Helen Nelson, one of the leaders in that Scottish team, she'd be a really key leader in a Lionesses team as well. And she's also done it successfully for Love for Lightning. So that's why she's in my Lionesses squad. A couple of outside suggestions for 10, who nearly made it. Kayleigh Powell from Wales, obviously. Eleanor Snowsell as well. It was so hard to leave Eleanor Snowsell out. Um, she's been doing it for years, but she just misses out, as does Helena Rowland from England. Moving on to the centres now, and I think this was another really tough one, and we tried to find the balance of it as well. Obviously, oh, Emily Scarrett is in there, England's captain, and she'd also be my British and Irish Lionesses captain as well. She's done it on the st world stage for years now, and I'd have no doubt she'd carry this over to her British, British and Irish Lionesses. We've also got another English name in there. We've got Megan Jones, Team GB, seven star. I think there's nothing she can't do 
in rugby and the British and Irish Lionesses tour will be a perfect place for her to showcase her talent. She can step, she can kick, she can run, she can pretty much do everything. So that's why she's in there for me. And then we've got two Scots in there, two more Team GB players, Hannah Smith and Lisa Thompson. And I think they offer something a little bit different. Lisa Thompson's really powerful. She can run through players and she can run around players as well. And also Hannah Smith is outstanding she we saw it in the sevens she's quick she's got quick hands and that's why she's in there because two three players sorry in the centers have we're in that team gb squad and i think it's important to have that mix of being able to mix in with different nations and they're used to that now from the team gb team gb squads so they'll be bringing that into the lionesses and also they have those seven skills which will be key to beat teams like new zealand Final two spots, so Hannah Jones was also in that Team GB camp for a while from Wales and Gloucester Hartbury. She's been outstanding talent for Gloucester Hartbury for a numer number of years now. So that's why she makes it. And also the experience of Seni Naopi from Ireland as well. She makes it in there and she'll probably be fighting for Emily Scarrett for some kind of captaincy role, leadership role throughout the tour. And so a couple of outside names, Laggy Tawima, really tough to miss her out on this as well. Moving into the back three now, and this was really tough for me to name just eight players, between kind of nine or ten as well, to make these back three. So just run them through quickly before I tell you why. Jess Breach from England, Ema Considine from Ireland, Abby Dow from England, the electric Jazz Joyce from Wales, Rona Lloyd from Scotland, Lisa Newman from Wales, Bevin Parsons from Ireland, and Chloe Rolly from Scotland. I think the balance with this was really tough to find enough wingers, enough fullbacks, and also players who can combine the both. And I think that's why we've reached this. Ellie Kildun was the one who was nearly in there, the England winger slash fullback, a former England seven star as well. She was so close to making it in, but she didn't quite because we tried to find that balance. Obviously, we'll start with Jess, electric talent, England's best try scorer, England's best finisher. She has to make this. Same with Abby Dow, England's best finisher. So that's why they're both in there. Jazz Joyce, we all know, watching the GB7s, why she's in this Lionesses squad. Like Meg Jones, I don't think there's anything she can't do in the women's rugby game. So that's why she makes it into our squad. Same with Rona Lloyd, she's an electric finisher and the Premier 15s is going to miss it this season as she heads to France for a year or two. Obviously, we have speculated on a year or two, but as she heads to France. And then Chloe Rolly, the Scotland fullback, Scotland and Quinns fullback, she's an outstanding, brilliant player, and I love watching her play for Scotland and Quinns. So that's why she's in there. Probably my starting fullback initially. I think she brings a lot. She'd bring a lot to the game in terms of kicking and um, with ball in hand as well. And finally, the two, the sorry, Lisa Newman as well at Sale um, really impresses me playing for Sale and Wales in a Wales side that struggled during the Six Nations. She was one of the standouts. Then finally, the two Irish players, Ema Considine at fifteen. Bevan Parsons on the wing and I think Bevan Parsons will be the one pushing the two English girls and also Jazz Joyce and Rona for the starting spot I think she's electric she's steps she's got pace she's got really good handling skills as well and she's powerful I think as we saw against Wales in that Six Nations she was pretty much unstoppable for much of that game and I can't wait to see her play an English side hopefully soon I'd, what I'd love to see her match up against Jess and Abby Dow on the other wings and I think she is one of the most um, impressive up-and-coming talents in world rugby. So there we have it. We have our 42-player British and Irish Lionesses squad for a potential tour to the USA and Canada or New Zealand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's something that um, not everyone will agree with my squad. Not everyone will even agree with the British and Irish Lionesses tour. But I think it's an important thing to highlight to grow the women's game and also have the potential for it there. And also just let me know what you think of this squad. I think it's also it's always going to be something that people disagree about. No one's going to agree with my picks. People might not agree with my squad at all. But let us know in the comments who you think would make a squad, who would make your squad as well. And thank you for watching this two-part line special. I've been Sam, by the way, and you have been watching the Women's Rugby Show.